This is a step-by-step -step guide to assisting a person in the use of a self-propelled manual wheelchair. During this presentation, we will focus on six key skills. Firstly, we will present the basic parts of the wheelchair and provide an overview of how the chair works. Then, we will demonstrate how a caregiver could support a wheelchair user to move in and out of the wheelchair. Next, we will look at moving from a wheelchair to a bed and then how to get in and out of a car. We will also address general mobility issues in both indoor and outdoor spaces. And lastly, how to manage particularly difficult challenges such as curbs, tight spaces and inclines. This presentation will equip the caregiver with the skills to enable them provide standby assistance to a wheelchair user. Additional training can be pursued if more direct assistance is needed. A wheelchair is usually folded for storage. To prepare the chair for use, the caregiver unfolds it by placing their hands flat on each side of the seat and pushing down firmly until the seat of the chair is completely flat. The rims on the larger wheels at the back of the chair allow the user to propel themselves independently. The wheelchair user can stop the chair by giving a short push forward followed immediately by a short push backwards. When the chair needs to be stationary, the brake at the larger wheels should be locked. To apply the brake, push the brake lever forward. The brake can be removed by pulling the lever backwards. The handles at the back of the wheelchair allow the caregiver assist with moving the chair where necessary. The armrests at the side of the wheelchair can be removed by detaching them at the front and back of the chair. To reattach, fit them back into the frame and click into place. The purpose of the foot plates is to provide support for the feet and to avoid the feet dragging or catching in the wheelchair. When the wheelchair user is getting in and out, the foot plates can be removed. To do this, the caregiver may assist by guiding the wheelchair user's feet off the footplates. They are then flipped up, the supporting clip is removed and the plates swing to the side of the chair. If additional space is needed, the footplates can be removed entirely by lifting them from the frame of the chair. To replace the footplate to the main frame, Swing it back into place and ensure that the clip is fully closed. The foot plate can be flipped down and the wheelchair user's foot guided back into place. The anti-tip bars at the back stabilise the wheelchair and prevent the chair from tipping backwards. These can be removed when tipping is required, for example when moving up or down curbs. The remaining bar can act as a lever to assist with elevating the chair for this manoeuvre.